Hello and welcome to the Serious Amiga series. As you can see in front, we're going to be looking at spreadsheets today. The first program that I've loaded up is MaxiPlan. Now, from my research that I've done, I think this is one of the earliest Amiga spreadsheet programs that existed. Granted, this is MaxiPlan 4, so a little bit older. I think this was released in 1992. This is a very familiar spreadsheet program, even looking at it compared with uh, today's software. You've, you've got the very much the grid format and using uh, alphabet along the top and the rows are numbers. And as I scroll down, you'll see that uh, it's got features such as it's frozen the top three rows of the document. So as I scroll down, um, it, it keeps those up there and yeah, you've got all these values, uh, in here. So income. So if this is income, I'd say that this is all currency. Now we can select, uh, sales and you can format, uh, your data in certain ways. So for, say, for example, this is currency. There we go. I can put a, a dollar sign in front of them so uh what cool things can we do with this well i'm guessing the formulas do work and pretty much every spreadsheet program i'm going to show you does do the basics of of formulas so if i do the equals um sum open brackets and then if i select these cells here it fills that in for me close brackets and there we go it's calculated my value now what if our income three has changed to 45 pounds and 30 pence this person's had a good pay rise well yeah the value has automatically changed now these are very basic things really in a spreadsheet um, but it's it's really cool to see this all in the amiga and we take a lot of this for granted uh, really when we look at excel of today this drove a lot of businesses was a key part of software really it was really good for sorting out your finances at home things like that and and anything really that you did want to store um information really in a spreadsheet a lot of people i know would have used this as a as a crude database a flat database in some way so that's maxi plan four let's now move on to another program now, the next program that I've loaded up is Interspread. Now, you may not have heard of this one, uh, but I remember this one personally because this was the first spreadsheet program I opened up on the Amiga and it came on a Amiga cover disk. Basically, yeah, you had a free spreadsheet program that you could use that was on a cover disk, which was awesome. So again, this comes with some nice little demos. So if I just load up the demo here and here we go we've got our nice basic sort of like information really and you can see that this is using uh, formulas again to calculate things this is aged because yeah rent at 350 a car at 210 pounds i mean showing of the times it's a very capable spreadsheet program so I didn't show charts in the previous one and that, that did do charts, but we go to draw chart one. There we go. We've got a nice little chart uh, as well, which is very handy, even uh, eight color as well. So I'll just go back to that, draw chart two, and then maybe I want eight color. There we go. So we're going to take it up a notch now and we're going to have a look at turbo calc which was released a lot later in the Amiga's life. As you can see, this was released in 1995, but um, this is using a more modern workbench. And you can see that, yes, like the graphics has definitely been uh, improved and increased on this. Now, again, let's, let's find a example. Uh, let's go, ah, oh, this is all in German again. I seem to pick, I seem to pick German versions of pieces of software, don't I? And sadly, I don't speak German. Um, okay, and as you can see, yeah, we've got a nice table there, and that's showing examples of pie charts and uh, bar charts there, stacked bar bar chart there. 
which is pretty awesome. So you've got uh, the different formatting options here. So the numeric format. So that's basically, yeah, so like if it's a date, a time, a percentage, and maybe I want these values to have two decimal places for some reason. So let's select those and go two decimal places. Yeah, there we go. That's set. Again, we can do, uh, let's do min and then select those enter there we go there's the minimum number there that one so what if i don't know what formula i want so i can go to commands paste and then formula and then this lists all of the formulas that it does so say example um, i want to do a vlookup vlookup there we go and that gives you an idea of what to do and what to type in which is what really excel in the modern day sort of like gives you some hints on what to type in and this is similar so this is turbo calc i think this was a little bit more popular because uh what i've noticed as well is under the import you start to see excel so xls uh, spreadsheets and of course lotus one two three was still very popular and then you could add export out as these different file types so that's turbo calc let's now move on to the next one so i'm going to load up final calc now this one i think is a little bit more advanced i'm going to open up the demo sheet and as you can see um, this is doing a lot of calculations so example if i edit this and i go to say example let's change the percentage to 0.2 all these values update and then if we open up another example the demo graphs one uh, it can show all of the different graphs that it can do so a line chart let's have a look at that there we go that's my subscriber count folks for projection for the future 2031 Let's try and see if we can reach at least, you know, that 50,000 subscriber. <laughs> yep. And of course, yeah, you could save this as an image then, and then that could be imported into your word process or desktop publishing app as well to generate and make your reports. Remember, this was used a lot in business. Uh, bar charts, have a look at the bar charts. Yep, a bit similar and it does some really nice uh graphs in here like the 3d line chart one let's look at that there we go so it's starting to use 3d graphics which is pretty cool for the amiga so definitely final calc i think is um a very good one to start out with if you're brand new uh, to spreadsheets on the amiga and you're probably thinking yeah but why do spreadsheets on the amiga actually that's a very good question because you've got the likes of excel google docs and a lot of that data really is easier to get in these modern operating systems but i think where this kind of shines is maybe for example you're making a just sort of like a flat database or and you just want to record some simple stuff and really it's the nostalgic feel of just using an old piece of software to record that information and maybe you don't want that information out on the internet whatsoever so therefore things like this will be of use to you um, i'll be interested actually if you still use a spreadsheet on the amiga drop a message down in the comments below and let me know what you use a spreadsheet for now an example sheet that i've got loaded up here is the calendar now i'm just going to go through and change the month to october it is 2022 at the moment and i'd like my first day to be monday and look there we go all this information updates automatically so i've got my october 2022 monthly calendar there but uh, i think one good example that i can practically use this software for and i think if anybody does use a spreadsheet on the Amiga will be 
that they want to print out information. Now I'm in WinUAE at the moment. So if I press F12, look, there we go. Uh, you can see that I've got that set up and I go to IO ports here. Now, these are the two important settings up the top here. So we've got a printer. So the printer, I haven't actually got a physical printer in, plugged into my computer at the moment, but we've got the Microsoft print to PDF. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking what's inside the Amiga, make it think as though it's printing something, but we're going to end up with a PDF file on our Windows machine outside of WinUAE. Okay, hopefully you understand that. So I'm going to select Microsoft Print to PDF. Now there's a couple of options under the type here. Now there's just the simple pass through. A lot of times that probably might not work uh, because you're relying on the MEGA print driver. Um, there's certain emulations, so you've got Epson. But I think the most result that I get is PostScript. And there's two types of PostScript. Now I recommend on the Windows side of thing is downloading a program called Co Ghost Script and just download that and install that before you start all of this. And then choose that option of PostScript emulation Ghost Script required. Okay, you may need to restart WinUAE if you've just installed Ghost Script and you're finding this isn't working. So, yeah, close down um, WinUAE and open it back up so it knows all about Ghost Script. So with these two options selected, so I've got my Microsoft print to PDF selected and that one there. And then one more thing that you may need to do sometimes is increase the time in seconds after a pending print job is automatically flushed. Now, what I found that while I was saving the PDF and coming up with a file name, that actually it was flushing the print job. So increasing this to say 15 seconds or something gives you more time to come up with a file name and things like that. Now with all these settings uh, done, I feel that I might need to do a reset. So we'll just go do a reset. Then I'm gonna load up final calc again. Now go go to print, entire year, and then choose print. Make sure it's on postscript there and that's set to parallel there and then print. And then you'll see that this dialog box appears. So what we're going to do is go just call this calendar. So I'm going to load up the PDF and this is the PDF that was produced from WinUAE. And here we go. Here's our nice calendar. And as you can see, uh, the resolution of it is really good as, as it's a PDF. Yeah, you can get some really good detailed prints out of this. And this is a practical use for uh, maybe using this spreadsheet. So thank you for watching this video. If you used a spreadsheet program on the Amiga back in the day, then let me know down in the comments. I've got a lot of great feedback from the word processor video that I did the other week. And have you, if you haven't catched that already, then here's a link to it now. Thanks everybody. See you in the next video.